Great news, guys. Stefan Carl Stevenson's cancer is gone. Yay, you know Stefan Carl, the actor who plays Robbie Rotten in Lazy Town. His cancer is now gone. <laughs> Uh, and also, I had like 50 subscribers, like freaking three days ago. And uh, yeah, I should have made this video then and then uh, tour my Austrian grandpa's house video, but whatever. And this is my new fidget spinner. It's a German fidget spinner. I don't know if it speaks German. <laughs> and this is like something that you wear for your neck. This is a stone called um, Amazonite that makes you calm. Anyway, so today we're gonna be doing an Außer Fragant Kleinor Fern Flatter Tour. Alright, so now I'm in the car. So uh, let's just go. Alright, alright, come on, let's go. Alright, so I'm in the car, I have no idea why, because I'm, uh, it seems like, like a faster way. <laughs> alright, so, let's go. Down here is like a bus station. First, let's go over here, right here. <laughs> alright, so there's the house. Alright, so let's just, like, um, go. Let's just go fast, because gotta go fast. Here's, like, the, what is it called? It's called Intersport, where we, like, where they like sell a bunch of s sports stuff. I don't know. Uh, like seriously guys, there were so many cars in Austria, we, we saw a lot of them. We saw Austrians, duh. <laughs> and so we're not in Kleindorf anymore, we're in Austria. And then over here is the, over there is the way to build the Götterbahn, and that's the shop. And today is nothing like, um, like nothing is um, uh, open because, you know, it's, for some reason it's celebration day, I have no idea why. Alright, so there, there, was, there were so many cars here in Austria. There were Germans, Slovakians, Slovenians, Hungarians. Sorry if there's wind audio. <laughs> uh, we, we also saw Greek cars. We even saw a couple from Kuwait, which is insane. You know that little Asian country. Alright, and there, there were also like... Um, what was there still? There were like... Um, I, I don't really know. There were, there were just a lot of them, like Italians and stuff. Alright, so if we go over here, there's also Fragans, like a little... Hotel? Uh, I don't know what they are. What is that over there? That's uh, that's uh, like, uh, you know, um, uh, I have no idea what Brunnen means in um, English, but whatever. So uh, I'm just gonna go over here. Yep, let's just go. So as you can see, um, this was like in 2012. You can see where we are on the side. It's called Hubikus Brunnen, and this is the the a village where Hubi Meyer lives. Yep, right, damn right. Hey, here's the, like, a uh, hotel. Hey, here's the church. Hey, here's the way the Hubi Meyer's house. If you don't know who Hubi Meyer is, he's a, he's a popular Austrian musician. Yeah, he lives in this small village. Insane, right? And in this, um, 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 like, house, there's his, um, a friend. One of the band members from the Fidel Murtarar. Like, Hubi's the front member of that band, the Fidel Murtarar. And they've been doing music for 45 years. Damn, 45 years? That is um, quite a long time, and last year they said that they weren't going to do music anymore, and I think well, no, since then, um, we didn't get any info for the last concert. So yeah, this is Hubi Meyer's house. So as I said, they're not going to do music anymore. It's sad. Hey, here's Hubi's house from like the front. As I said, they're not going to do music anymore. It's sad. Here's the church from up here. From down here are the electrics. Alright, thanks, bye. Yeah, but back in 10 minutes, that was my father actually who was driving the car. Alright, now it's time to go up here. Behind the shop is like a secret way to shops. Here's a house. Not really. Look at this long way. Here is the huge shop thing it was talking about or something. You can make a religion out of this. Here's another shop. Look up here, there's another huge house with like I have no idea what that, um, what that car is from, what land that is, but whatever. Belgians. And here is the house with two huge dogs. Or, uh, uh maybe three even. But whatever. <laughs> so funny story, guys. Last day I was actually, uh, um, uh, uh, walking over here and then I saw, like, eight cute little puppers, like, playing. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, the small dogs, the kid dogs. <laughs> And uh, then suddenly, one of them like, <laughs> you know what happened? A couple of them got to us, and one of them actually escaped from the cage over there. And then he like bit me and stuff. And <laughs> then all the other ones started to like, <laughs> to like escape. And uh, yeah, that was the thing. Everyone just escaped, and, uh, and we tried to we we spent like ten or fifteen minutes trying to get them back in until the farmer showed up with the two dogs and uh, um, all the. Little poppers, what is it again? We just said thank you to the farmer and then moved on. You can make a religion on this. 
If we look down there, then that's gonna bring us to the sport hotel. But let's just go up. Oh, look, there's like a, a there's like a, a woman that I'm uh, called Anya who owns this like I don't know restaurant or something like cook, eat, um, live and sleep, and it's under construction. Oh, cool. None anymore. Oh, okay. And here's her house. Knock, knock. Get the door. It's Flatach. And over here is a river. I don't know if you can see it, but I, I probably have to go to the other way. See the river. Alright. So as you can see, there's the river right there. I don't know what it looks like. But uh, whatever. It looks beautiful. You can make a religion out of this. And then we'll go a little bit further. And then go further again. Let's review. There's houses in the village. And almost all of them have dogs. Fuck it. Time to, time to go down. Look at this. Now we're really in Flata. That house is under construction. Don't worry about it. It's probably going to be um, completed in a couple of months. Let's go around the corner. Where do you go if you go that way? The kind of graveyard. Oh god. Uh, I mean the Flatak graveyard. That's where my uh, gra the grandpa is buried. Oh god. This is my friend Lunia's house. It seems like nobody's home but the gate, the gate is still open. Um, Mom told me it's probably her grandma that's home. Who knows? Make him away downtown. Well, I'll get fast. That was a terrible joke, but whatever. So I'm up here, and if I look at the... Yeah, look, that's the Fatak Beach. Everyone knows the Fatak Beach who lives in here. What's the Fatak, um, 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 slight color? Or it's probably... And down there, it's like a sport field. Or something. There's a school also. Ouch! There's another little part of the beach. And there's a school still. Youch! And sometimes there's even school in July. And the students still go, cra go crazy like Knushk. Let's go down over here. And if I go down there, you know what there is? It is the same playground I've been going for. Um, I've been going on for over four years now, or maybe even more. But who knows? But this is the playground that I've been uh, go, uh, that I have uh, absolutely loved since May 2013. So I'm just gonna give you a little like um, think of it, you know, like a little tour of the playground. I have no idea what this is, but you could go in it for for some reason. I have no idea. So, uh, there's a guy, like, doing the lawnmower. <laughs> Alright, so here's a little, like, like, seriously, I've been, I've been going to the same playground for, uh, since May 2013. You can make a religion out of this. And on Fridays, there's, no, there's always, like, this little party, uh, on Friday night, there's always, like, this little party over here called Friga. And a lot of people go over here. I have no idea why. Because it's just a little party, you know. Hey, my father's back. Let's get in and go home. Here's this, like, triangle thing. I have no idea what this is. There's, there's like, mooses on it or something. And down there, there's an area too, but I'm just too freaking like tired to show that. Whatever. Alright, so this is like the down office, and that's like the firemen. If you didn't see the firemen still, then here they are. The, that, that's them. Yep. But what about this part? That's the culture house. Everyone knows the culture house. Probably. Let's go up here into the hills of awesome. Look at the majestic view of the mountains. Wow. Hey, we're back in Kleindorf. You, you could see it here. It's the, it's the, it's the, you know, the sign. You, can't you see? <laughs> okay, thanks. He, he put me down on the bridge. This stone says that on the 19th of August, 1966, which is like 51 years ago almost, um, it was, um, there were like five houses like in this area. See, like th on this area, there were five houses. But then there was like this huge stone right over here. This stone um, was uh, brought by the water. All the way like to the houses and all of the five houses were destroyed and three people died and I don't know they were like from 1967 were, uh, to 1973 where they were like um, uh, the this some um, like river thing that you can see better uh, it's beautiful as well <laughs> it like it like rushed them as the stone down here and uh, yeah it looks like three people died and now the houses are no more you can make her a lit no don't Here's the bridge, and here's the moon river, I, I mean the, the river, the, the normal river, not the moon river. <laughs> and this is where a couple of horses used to be. I mean, they still are, but only like at night or something when I walk. Let's go over here, we're really close to getting home, but after that there's still a couple of things I need to tell you. And show you, of course. The other word is the tennis place. What do they play at the tennis place? Tennis, probably. And maybe even soccer. Actually, I don't think they do. They only play tennis, probably. What? We're back here? Yeah, but this time we're going down over there. 
So this is the house of the farmer right there, who had these cute little puppers, but then sell them. This is the house of one of the people that we know, actually. Let's go down over here. <laughs> the farmer is still there with his wife and the and the baby and one of the big dogs. Hey guys, we're down here now. We're down at the sport hotel motel. <laughs> the, the farmer is still there. Yep. So, that's our thing. And there's a Slovakian car and a German one as well. Is that one from Wolfsburg or something? I, I don't know. Right guys, just a little bit further. I came from up there if you didn't know. Whatever. <sighs> Come on guys, just a couple more meters. Come on. Alright guys, we've made it over here, come on, let's just run, let's just run, sorry if there's audio in the wind, but whatever, alright, let's just run, let's just run, let's do it, let's do it, alright, come on, come on, we're almost there, we made it here, yes, we did it, <laughs> yay, alright, give me the fireworks, woo, <laughs> oh man guys, wait, is this actually, yeah, this is recording, sorry, oh man, that was so much fun, I had this drink, this twisted drink uh, bottle all along with me, but I, I actually didn't drink it. So I'm going to show you guys how all this works. So this is called twisted drink. It has two simple steps. First, you have to twist, um, no, like, like, twist like that, I think, I, I don't know. So, not dancing, like, twist like, uh, but you know, you just have to like, twist like that. There we go. And step two, so step one is to twist, step one, two is to drink. Twist and drink. Wait, is this recording? <laughs> Alright, twist and drink. The nectar of the gods! That's actually really good. This is cherry, so that's awesome. Ah, that tastes good. That tastes good. Alright, so there's a couple more things I want to say before this video ends. Like, um, one, you know, Stefan Carl's cancer is gone. Um, the, the other thing is that I have 50 subscribers, but guys, I can't believe this. Charmix deleted this channel. Charmix, the insane reactor who uh, reacted to almost 2,000 videos or something. 2,000 reactions almost. And that is insane. Like, seriously, Charmix, why did you delete your channel? Seriously, I'm gonna make like a Twitter account and I'm gonna ask Charmix so why did he delete his channel. I didn't watch the video, so I'm probably just gonna ask him. But guys, um, so you might be wondering why this video was uploaded today. Well, it's because um, d d yesterday I didn't have much time. And also tomorrow, uh, it was delayed. Like, the, the thing that we're going back to Hungary was delayed because today is Celebration Day in Austria. And tomorrow, on the August 16th, on Wednesday, we're going to go home. And I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it into one video. If the video is too long, like 30 minutes long, I'm just going to make the video into two parts. It's going to be called uh, The Trip Back to Hungary. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this tour. We'll see you uh, um, tomorrow. Alright, bye guys.